Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa. Welcome back, girlfriend. Today, we are going to get glowy skin with a matte foundation. Yes, we are. And I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to do this. I love this look. I absolutely love it. The matte foundation is my favorite, but sometimes I want a little dewy glow to it. So, if you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching, girl. Okay, so the first thing you do want to do is make sure you have your skincare on. And you can see I've got my skincare on. I did do that. Now, the only thing I haven't done, um, we're, this is not going to be about under eyes per se. I am going to have to do my under eyes uh, for this look. But I do love this Beauty Oil by Unique. And you can see I use it quite a bit. <clears throat> you don't use that much. But it has this little dropper. And I will typically just put a little bit on my finger. And take the other finger and then just I put this right here. So this is how I start out um, before I do my under eyes. I like to put this on and just let it set for a few minutes. I also love to put it around my lips also. <laughs> yes, it does help. It does soften it. And, uh, you know, I've, I've noticed I've got a lot of fine lines around my mouth here lately. And um, this seems to soften them. The makeup goes on better. So... Try, you know, some beauty oil that you have. It's just, I think it's it's wonderful to put it on and get it moisturized. And that way, when you go to put your concealer on, it's it's just going to go on so much better. So, so much better. Okay, so I'm going to let this set for a second. And we're going to get started with this face. Now, one of the most important things you can start with is a primer for your face. You need a face primer. Now, I use these two. And this is um, Unique's, this is the Mattifying Primer. And this one here is the Hydrating. The I use the Hydrating under my eyes. I've already put this one on. I put it all over my face, but I do not put it under my eyes. This works really well for me, my under eye area. So if you struggle a little bit with that, uh, like we all do when we get older, take a little of this and just apply it and kind of dab it in. Make sure you use your ring fingers because that's the, the, the fingers that are the, have the least pressure. And you're going to let that set for a few minutes, not long, a uh, couple of minutes to, to kind of absorb and to kind of settle because I am going to put my concealer right over the top of that. So today we are talking about matte foundation. And this is Unique's spray foundation. It is my favorite. It's full coverage, but it is a matte finish. So sometimes... Eh, well, most of the time when we get older, <laughs> we have that luminosity that just kind of disappears, you know, into our skin. It just, um, our skin just changes. And so when you do something like a foundation that's a matte, it just makes it look kind of flat and no luminosity to the skin. So I came up with this little technique um, using a little bit of oil. Yes, and we're going to use it with the spray foundation. So let me just show you the oil I'm going to use. This is the Ordinary. It's the Ordinary Rosehip Seed Oil. Love it. You can get it in Ulta. It's very cheap and it's very good. And it's also good for your skin. And I am going to use my Beauty Blender. This is the original Beauty Blender. I love this thing. I paid 20 bucks for this. And you know what? I have really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's lasting a long time. I wash it and um, I use it every single day. And it's been great. I, I, I fussed about thinking about paying 20 bucks for that, but hey, I'm glad I did. I really like it. So the spray foundation, we're, I'm going to use two different colors today. I'm going to use um, Eyelet, and then I'm going to use Velour. Velour is lighter. Eyelet is my color that I usually use on my face. So, but I'm going to mix the two because I'm in between seasons, and I don't have any summer, you know, glow going on here. I don't get out in the sun anymore anyway, but mixing these two, this gives me a little luminosity too, a little brightness to the skin, and I really, really do love to mix these two together. So, and then I'm going to use Koskis. Uh, I think that's how you say this. I'm learning how to say this. This is my favorite concealer uh, of all time, and <laughs> right now, I, I really, really, really love it. It's really good for mature skin, and you're going to love the finish of this. Now, I'm not going to do uh, my under eyes here today, that's not what this is about. This is about the foundation today. So I will do this um, after I get my, my my glow going on, girlfriend. All right, so let me grab everything I need and we are going to get started. You ready? So we are now all primed and ready to go, girl. We are going to take this um, rosehip seed oil 
and I'm going to put two drops. Now, this is a moist. You must make this moist, okay, and squeeze all the water out of it. And when nothing runs down your arm, you're ready to go. Um, I don't think it would work well with a dry one, so you do need to make sure that it's moist. Now, I'm going to put like two drops, one, two, right there in the top of this. You see it? And I'm going to start with the color, that's velour, and I'm going to start with the color olive. I'm going to shake it up just a tad. Now, I do two sprays, like that, of the eyelet, and then one spray of velour. See? You can see the difference in the two. And then, all I do is just kind of bounce it over my skin and start applying. Now, don't get me wrong, I wear this with a, you know, without putting oil in it. Um, it just depends. But I got to thinking about this technique and I don't know that I've shown it on here or not. And I thought it was just important. We all need to have little techniques that we love to do. And maybe you have a special event coming up. <clears throat> You're gonna have a lot of pictures made. This will make your skin look really, really kind of glowy. It's, oh, it's so pretty. I, I just love it. I do. I love doing this technique. I'm just going to do half my face so that you can see the difference in this side and this side. And then I'll finish the rest of it out on cat, off camera. But I'm going to go ahead and spray this again. And yes, when I do the other side, I go back and I add the two drops and I'll do this side. But in order to make this look good, you do need to kind of bounce it in and play with it. I love doing techniques like this for you. I hope you try this because it really is beautiful. And if you've already got some kind of foundation that you love that is a matte foundation and you just want to add a little va-va-voom to it, get that luminosity going back that we lose as we age. All right, let me come up my nose. <laughs> it's so much fun sitting here talking to you. I swear it is. I'm all by myself. The dog's over here. But, you know, she's being quiet for once. Yay. Wow. She's a mess, y'all. She has, she um wants to get out of the fence. And I don't know how she does it, but she does it. And she's a bully, little bully breed that we rescued. But see how I just kind of press it all in? And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And look at this side, all my spots. This side looks very luminous. Now I could spot treat that thing right there a little bit. If I wanna do that, I would just probably grab um, eyelet and put a little dab on there like that. And I can just press it in and that little spot will go away. Cause this is full coverage, I love it. I have to have full coverage, I just do. I have too many spots on my face now. Okay, you see the difference? Oh, gee whiz, you do. <laughs> I tell you what, when you finish this out and you have uh, your bronzer on, I'll show you how to do the bronzer too and how to get it just beautiful, your skin. Because, you know, this right here is all just monotone. You, you're one color, and then you need to add the color back to it once you're done. And, yes, I do set this with powder. So I'll show you how to do that too. So let me finish out this side and then I'll show you how to do the powder. Okay, look at this. Look at how, oh, I just love the finish of this. I, I get excited every time I do it because <laughs> I'm like, yes, your skin just looks beautiful. Even, even before I'm adding in anything else to it, I just really love it. Now, I love to use It's Bye Bye Pores uh, Translucent Powder and the Laura Mercier one. That is kind of an ivory color, but the, you know, this one here is It's, and it's very, very, very light, and it is the perfect powder for setting your under eyes. Yes, I went ahead and did my under eyes, and I have now got to set that, and you see I'm using very minimal powder, and I just press it in. This is a Morphe, um, they call it an under eye bullet brush. I love it. It's so soft. It, and it's an M536. That's the number on it. But it is a Morphe brush. So you can find it at Ulta. That's where I found it. Or you can go online uh, to Morphe site and, and get it as well. I'll put links to everything. So no worries. If you haven't grabbed this wonderful brush yet. <laughs> 
See how pretty that is? Oh my goodness. And yeah, I gotta come up in my temples because you know, I put the concealer all the way up through there. Now, setting the face. Setting the face, I like to use the Wayne Goss method of using a powder puff. So this is a little powder puff. This little powder puff came with the it's. It comes with it, okay? So, hmm, go figure. Maybe they knew you need to use a powder puff. But I like to use the, the, the it's first, and then I like to use the Laura Mercier one on the outer part of my face. So I'm going to um, just pat this in. That's all you got to do. Just pat your friend here. Yeah. Pat it in. I do the T-zone area with the it. I come all up through here. Now, keep in mind, if you're going to add creams and things like that, uh, like a clean. A cream blush. I can't talk. Um, you might want to wait and do the powder after you've applied that because you know it's going to be difficult to put a cream over something that's already had some powder. But do you see how pretty this is? You push it into your skin. This also helps with pores. You know, if you're swiping something across your face with a brush, you're not really pressing it in. So if you have uh, pores like mine are right here on each side right here, and this really does help minimize those pores. It really does. And just press it in. And then what I do is I take the Laura Mercier one and I will go on the outer part and just kind of press it in with that, just like this. And you can do it slow, you can do it fast. When you watch Wayne, he does it really slow and he pushes it all in. <laughs> Wayne's so much fun to watch, he is. I learned a lot from him. See how pretty that is? Oh my goodness. But you still have that little bit of a glow. Amazing. I think it is. I have really enjoyed doing this this week. I've, I'm glad I thought about it and I did it for ladies night and the ladies just went crazy over it. So I have to share it with you here on YouTube. Yes. So now I'm going to grab um, some bronzer. I want to show you how to apply a little bit of bronzer. This is a matte bronzer, nothing shiny. And I'll finish out this face and we'll I'll show you how I finish setting it. Um, because I use a setting spray or setting mist is what I'm going to use. All right, so this is the bronzer that I'm going to use. It is uh, the medium color. It's Unique's, and I do love this color. It comes in three different shades. It's a darker shade as well and a lighter shade, but this one is so pretty on the skin. I just love it. I'm going to use this big fluffy brush here. It's Unique brush here, and I'm just going to kind of run it underneath here. Turkey neck, you know what I'm saying? But this will, this will put some color back into your skin, kind of brighten it up a little bit, get that contour going on. Look how pretty that is on the skin. Oh, I love this stuff. Oh, I do. <laughs> I say that every time. I know I do. If you hear something in the background, that's my dog. She's, I don't know what she's doing. She's up on the bed. Now, to add some color up here in this area, I don't really worry so much because my bangs are here. But if you want to add some color, just do like this, and you can come down here. Just make you a little C if you're trying, if you want like a technique or something to do. <laughs> I'm going to do my C today. Yeah, there you go. And it really warms up your skin. Now, I am going to take this brush here. This is a BK Beauty brush. <laughs> I love it. It's the Hot and Flashy collection, but I will take and I'll pinch this, and I'm going to grab some of my bronzer right here, and I'm going to come down my nose on either side. So this is just a simple way to warm up your, your face. Add some dimension back to it. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and it's very, very light. I love these new bronzers that we have, have out. And then for blush, I'm just going to go with a simple blush. This one here is called Sweet. It is a unique product as well. I'm going to use, I'm gonna, um, I'm going to use this brush here. I'm going to use Unique's Blusher Brush. Is that how you say it? Now, this has no shimmer to it. It's just a matte finish, and I'm just going to apply it, like, right over that bronzer and push it up into my temple. Isn't that pretty? This is a universal kind of color. Um, goes with any skin tone. It is a matte. Uh, I am going to set my face. I'm going to show you how to do that next. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But look at the difference in your face. I still have that little glow. And I'm going to add back, I like using Seal the Deal, um, Madison Beer, Seal the Deal, 
Love it. I ordered some of these. All, they had these on sale. I don't know if they still do. They were $9 a piece. They're regular 18 So, if you haven't checked out their site, you might want to go there and grab some of that. Um, but I'm going to spray this like that. And this is a handy little tool. You think you need to get it if you don't have one. Then I always come down the center of my face. Let me get right here because I want to set that. And it has that beautiful glow. Oh, girl, this stuff is fabulous. It's, it is my favorite, favorite setting spray. Now, I could spray my whole face if I wanted to, <clears throat> but I don't want to. I like to set that in that certain place. Now, I am going to spray my whole face. Um, but first of all, I wanted to, I wanted to get, what was I going to use? I wanted to get like, um, I got to get my lipstick on. I hadn't done that yet. And I see my dog walking around. You see her in the back? <laughs> she distracts me. Yes, she does. Um, I wanted to show you one other thing. Let me find it <laughs> and I'll be right back. Here's what I was going to show you. I was going to show you, uh, if you don't have, um, like the setting spray with the glow in it, like this has, I love this stuff. You do have to shake it up, but when you shake this up, it, see all that goodness in there? That goes on your face, girl. And then, but this is just a illuminizer and these are really pretty. I'll link these below. There's like four different colors, but wow. It would be pretty too. Now, if you didn't have that setting spray and you already have some Illuminizer or something, you could definitely run that across there. And then, you know, I'm going to then come and, and set everything. I'm going to set this with our, with Unique's. This is a touch behold. It's the Prime and Mist. And it, whoa, girl, it works good. It feels good on your face. And this way, everything gets set that quickly. And it's just a fine mist that falls right over your face absolutely perfect what do you think of this i think it's gorgeous i love it it's so simple and easy to do bronzer adds life back to your face to me and i love to add a little bit of a blush in that little shine of seal the deal and i just love this foundation technique i hope you've learned something today so uh let me do my lips i can't walk out of the house without doing that and i'll be right back ta-da <laughs> totally done. What do you think? Oh man, I love this finish on this foundation. I absolutely, it is my favorite foundation. It is. I love, love, love the spray. And I love how I can add just two little tiny drops to each side. And it gives me this beautiful glow. I just think it's beautiful. And it's touchable now because we set it with that great powder. Now this is what I have on my lips right here. I have um, well-to-do lipstick in the center and I did uh, NYX Need Me Lip Liner, and then I put a little bit of Hottie. Hottie is a lip plumper, and it um, has a little bit of peppermint oil in it, and, and so be mindful of that if you're allergic to something like that. But I love that. I love that to stick it right in the center because it's not sticky or anything. It's just perfect, and your lips will feel moist and pretty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Let me get up close to you. Everybody says you don't get up close. There you go. Even the under eyes look good. I really, really love um, that under eye concealer. I think it's beautiful. So I want you to go and try to do this. You be, do the best you can do. You know, it, it, it took me a long time to figure these things out myself. And as we age, things change and we have to change with it, right? We do. We have to go with what we got. And so that's what I try to do every single day. I'm 59 as I make this video for you. And I hope that it inspires you to try something new. That's my goal here. Um, and to entertain you a little bit too. And yes, I am from Alabama, hence the, the, the sound of my voice. Yes. <laughs> I have I live, lived here all my life, so I'm very Southern girl. But please like and share and click that notification bell. And I'm here on Sundays only. It's all I got. I work a full-time job. And so Saturdays is my day to film. And then Sundays, I put it out there for you to watch. And, and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope I do inspire you in some way to keep going, girlfriend. We still here. So keep going. Be the best you can be every single day. All right. I will see y'all later. Have a great week.